Hey guys, it's Carter. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are all having a fantastic day today. Now in today's video, we are going to be talking about Moomoo. We're going to be doing a full tutorial on how to use the platform, how to get it set up for trading. So I hope you guys all enjoy it. If you do, hit that like button, subscribe. And if you guys want to sign up for Moomoo, I'll put a link to them down below. You guys can get up to 20 free stock just by signing up with them. So click that link, sign up and start trading in the market. And guys, I hope you guys enjoy this. Let's turn to the computer and uh, jump into this bad boy. All right, so after you guys download Moomoo right on your desktop, this is not gonna be the first page. The first page is actually gonna be the Me tab. The Me tab will just have all the positions you're holding, your account information, you know, your account number. I wanna keep that private. I've had people actually try to hack into my account before for making videos like this. So we're just gonna keep it private for now. But as you mo go down here, this is gonna be the most important tab, at least for me, is your watch list tab. So so how you guys go about doing this, it's super simple. You know, all you can do is bump out this show more tab and you'll have a lot of things right here. You'll have stocks you're holding, stocks that you can add to a watch list. And if you guys wanna add certain ones, all you gotta do is click this little line button. It'll bring up your watch list tab. You can click add new watch list and title it out and then import or add certain symbols you wanna add. Now, as you go through and you're looking for stocks, you guys can also add stocks or delete stocks to your watch list from this little heart button right here. But as you go in here, you guys can see all of your, you'll, if you have a bunch of watch lists, they'll show up here. But if you have your scanners, your scanners will show up here. And as you click them, you guys will notice the stock, uh, you know, the chart changes with the stock you click to. As well as if you click it, you can even use the down arrow key to navigate through these stocks quicker. So if you want to go ahead and do that instead of actively, you know, clicking through them, you can do it there too. Also, like I said, you guys can bump this in and out, which is pretty neat. Also, they do have a cool little layout tool where you guys can manage your layout, save your layout. I don't really pay too much attention to that, but you know, this right here is still a very, very important tab for me because I am a swing trader. So I'm constantly looking for opportunity I'm constantly getting in and out of positions but yeah having a good you know watch list setup is super important here now we'll go ahead and we'll actually bump this out and I'm actually gonna make myself a little bit smaller so you guys can kind of see a little more information I'm gonna throw myself on the other side here so on your chart setup here you guys will notice I have all of these different lines right I have the yellow the, the blue, the red, the green. So these are what we call indicators. So indicators are pretty much what traders use to determine entry points and trends and all that stuff. So if you guys wanna remove them or manage your indicators, you guys can click this manage indicator button down on the bottom and it'll pop up right here, all the indicators. So if you wanna you know, delete any, if you wanna add any, all you can do is just search, you know, right here and it'll pop up indicators and you can just double click and add them. Also, if you guys wanna customize them a little bit more, what you can do here is you can exit out of this, you can go to this gear icon up top, which is your chart management and you'll have that same manage indicators and you can still add, delete and customize them with colors and, and all of that good stuff. Speaking of this little, you know, uh, uh, settings <laughs> right here. You guys can see you have your general settings. You'll have your access here and then the uh, indicators right there. So the next thing that I want to talk about here is being able to change charts. So if you wanted to find, you know, Apple chart, all you can do is click that search icon and then you can type in the ticker or you can also type in the company name. So we'll actually scroll out here. And one of the things I want to show you is different time frames. So if you click ultra day, what this shows is the stock during the same during the trading day today. If you click five day, it's the past five day, one daily. Now each candlestick now represents one day of trading. Then one week, one week of trading, one month, one month of trading, one Q is one quarter of trading, and then one year of trading is one Y. Now from here going this way, it's different. Each candlestick now represents one minute, so it kind of jumps down. More day traders use these, and then more swing traders and long-term investors use this. So that's kind of how you navigate through using different uh, you know, timeframes. You also can have customized uh, 
time frames right here. I don't really pay too much attention to that as a swing trader. I more look at the daily and then the hourly charts. Now, in order to draw on it here, we'll go ahead and we'll remove these indicators for now. But if you wanted to draw on them, all you can do here is click these tools right here. If you click this drop down arrow, this it'll bring up all of the drawing tools that they offer. So if you wanted to draw like a trend line, you can click trend line and you can draw them, you know, draw them out like like we'll do a quick one right here. So you click it and, you know, you could draw a nice little trend line like like that. OK, so now you could look at for entry points off this trend. Also, if you guys want to go ahead and do a horizontal line for maybe a lot of support or whatever you want to call it, you know, you can put that there as well. Now, you also can change the color of these just by clicking this little, you know, this paint tool right here. So if you want to make it green, blue, you know, whatever you whatever you want to do, you can do it there. I like leaving it red because it kind of jumps out a little bit good, you know, a little bit for me. Also, right in here, we have more drawing tools. So sometimes when I talk about stocks, I'll circle different things for you guys. And that's kind of how I do it is I just click that circle, you know, and I just draw it out like that. Like I said, you guys can change the color there. Now, right here, we have a pattern tab where if you want to learn or practice certain patterns, like, you know, if, we, if you had like a head and shoulders, let's see if we can see one. It doesn't look like we see maybe a little bit in here. You know, so you guys could practice drawing out, you know, patterns, you know, and you can you can draw them out like that. You know what I mean? So. So this is kind of what what a lot of traders do is they will practice drawing patterns with that. For me, I don't use that too much. I more use these other tabs right in here, but we'll continue. So the next one here is going to be these. Uh, to do these speed line tools. So like I said, I don't really pay too much attention to this, but sometimes, you know, you can you can do it for like certain trends or uh, support and resistance lines, whatever, whatever you want to call it here. But honestly, like I said, I really don't pay too much attention to these. I more use this. So this is why I absolutely love Moomoo is for this tool right here. So you always hear, you know, with trading risk management, but how do you do that? So Mumu has this long position tool that works really, really well. So what you can do is you can click on a possible entry point, right? And it will, you can adjust your target. You can adjust your stop loss, right? So now what this does, okay, is it brings up all this. It'll have your open p &L, It'll have your risk and reward, your target, your target percentage, your stop, your stop percentage, and then now you can practice your risk and reward ratio. So you always hear like, how can I risk a dollar to make $2? Well, it's it's your risk versus reward ratio. So that's how you do that. And I, I've honestly absolutely loved how they've added this. I think it's changed the game of trading in my personal opinion. But we'll continue here. Um, you know, then you also can add certain arrows. You can add, you know, if you wanted to write out like, you know, support line, you know, whatever you want to do here. So you guys can add that, you know, and so you can tell people, okay, that's the support, you know, and you can add certain, uh, you know, other things like the price and, and all that there. So the next thing here is going to be the continuous mode. I, I don't really use that. That will just have you keep scrolling. Um, also, you also want to you want to make sure that magnet tool is on. It, it's not that big of a deal. But when when you start adding other charts, you want to make sure that everything's kind of locked together and there's no open gaps. That's pretty much what that does. Right in here, sync mode. This makes sure everything's all synced together. Then you'll have your hide all lines. So if you wanted to just hide them all or or if you wanted to uh, delete your lines, you guys can delete them there. All right, let's move on to the other side right in here. So if you wanted to add more than one chart, so you guys can add them just like that. And then you guys can see it still has the time frames and, and all that. But for me, as a swing trader, honestly, I just need one. I don't want to overcomplicate my charting. Uh, I want to keep everything as simple as I can. I love the expression miss, make it simple, stupid. So now here we have the take a snapshot tool. We have, you know, the hide the toolbox. We have make it full screen. So you guys can see it makes it full screen. And then we have the verse tab. So if you want to compare like a stock to like the S&P or another stock, 
you can do it here and you can see the performance. I think that's a pretty cool thing as well. It'll also show you like the, you know, uh, EPI, you know, the EPS, the ROI, gross margin, and, and all that stuff here on certain stocks. So now here we have this little like open book. This open book will show you guys the fundamentals. So it will show you the full company's overview, the shareholders' equity, institutions that are buying it. It'll show you shareholders, you know, like the Vanguard, BlackRock. You'll also see like the financial tools, like the revenue breakdown, financial indicators, financial statement, dividends, stock splits, all that good stuff. So, you know, for more fundamental and long-term traders, that works really, really well. Now here, we're moving our way over to this tab here. So this tab will actually go with you as you click through other, other layers. So if you click like this, you can still bump it, bump this out. You, you know what I mean? So I think that's a pretty cool thing. But how you guys navigate this is super simple. You know, right in here, you know, you'll have your bid and ask, you'll have, you know, certain news earnings coming up right in this range, then you'll have like all the company's information right in here, high open volume, all that good stuff. And then we can click the anal uh, analyst tab here. And then you'll have all this I think is cool, you know, analyst ratings, price targets, um, technical, you know, indicators. And as we go back up, we'll have summary financial. So like, kind of breaking down the, you know, fundamental and earnings reports, you know, total revenues and, and all of that. And you guys can click on like the income statement and it will pop it up right in here. Now, right in here, we have the news tab. So any news that has came out with Apple will come right in here and you guys can literally just double click and it will pop up right here. It popped up on my other, other monitor, but it'll still pop up. Right in here, we have comments. So, you know, the great thing about Moomoo is they offer something called the Moo, which is like a trading Facebook, I always call it, trading Twitter. So if people have questions or are talking about a stock, you guys can see what's going on there. Now, if you guys wanted to add, uh, you know, if you wanted to add this to your watch list, all you gotta do is just click that there. All right, so now that we understand that here, how do you add certain alerts and, and stuff? So one of the things that you guys can do is just double click or not double click, you guys can, hold on, you guys can right click, excuse me. You guys can add it to your watch list, any notes, and then you also can set um, an alert here. So if you wanted to set a certain alert, you guys can do it there as well. I think that's pretty cool. Also, if you right click, you guys can go do trend projection. And what this does is it will predict the the future of Apple stock. So this works pretty well for trading. So you can kind of see like what the potential is for this. I think it's a cool thing, honestly. I'm I'm excited for this. This is a new feature using you know AI. But uh yeah, we'll just continue to, to make our way down. So now that we understand the whole watch list tab, like I said, this is where you're gonna spend most of your time is on this. Now, how you guys buy and sell is you just click this trade button down here and you're good to rock and roll. We'll do a separate video on different market orders and order types, but um, it also shows your account information as well. So we're gonna just hold off on that. The next here is gonna be the markets tab. The market tab will show you any stocks on your watch list. You know, uh, it'll show you US stocks. I don't pay too much attention to this. This also has a scanner right there. The uh, you know, stock connect and, and all that. But like I said, I don't pay too much attention to this. I'm more use the watch list and then the explore tab. You know, with the option, this is gonna be your options tab. So if you guys trade options, this is where you guys can go right here. Then you have your paper portfolio, paper folio. This will kind of show you what other traders are looking at, which is, which is kind of cool and uh, people that are doing well. So this guy right here is, you know, up 22% today, which is awesome. You know, and he's holding some of these trades. So you can pretty much just literally click on these and it'll bring you back to your watch list tab. So you can kind of see why they bought it, you know, and draw out and practice your trades. You know, and we'll just continue to make our way down. The, the trade tab right here is gonna be, if you wanted to like add custom charts, custom stuff, and you can click this and they also have all this um, other one, but if you wanted to add certain ones, you guys can do you know, your, your uh, stuff right here. So general, if you wanted to add your, you know, your watch list to it, your market monitor, which is like an AI monitor, you know, calculators, any new charts, you know, 
boom, that's in you know your trade tab and all that. And you guys can customize these by expanding them. Uh, you guys can save them, make sure that that magnetic tool is on so it kind of snugs everything all together. You see where it kind of sucked it in. So, you know, you can start messing around with this and making making more like customizable charting experience. So after here, we have this. This is gonna be the Explore tab. The Explore tab is super important because this will help find stocks that have potential. So, you know, they, they have scanners that you guys can customize or they have uh, cool and hot strategies here. So you guys can see like the double bottom, triple bottom, all of these right here. So you guys can click on them and see what, you know, stocks are on a double bottom, right? And look for potential that way. I think it's a cool thing. Same with the head and shoulders, like we talked about earlier, where you guys can draw. This is actually like a scanner that searches for head and shoulder stocks. Now, if you go to this market overview tab, when you click this right here, this will bring up all the hot stocks today. So, you know, we'll see over here, like the autonomous driving autonomous ETFs, micro ET strategy ETFs, all of these are doing well. We have the NASDAQ up, the S&P up. You know, we've had a pretty solid day today as we move to the other side. Um, you know, we also have hot stocks, pre-market, after hours, IPOs. And then you guys can go in and you guys can, you know, click through different, uh, you know, countries' stocks. So if you wanted to look at, you know, what Canada and, and China and just the general, you know, overview, you guys can do it there. Another cool thing is the institution holdings. So if you wanted to see what like Vanguard's buying, you guys can see what they're buying right here. Same with BlackRock and all these other institutions. Now, as we move down here, we have the news tab. So any any major news headlines are going to show up here. Any stocks on your watch list with, you know, uh, any stocks on your watch list with news is going to show up here. Then we'll have a calendar that pops up um, right here. So if you wanted to see what's, you know, any earnings coming out for stocks you're holding or whatever it may be, you guys can filter them out like that. So, you know, I never try to hold a stock through an earnings report. And so this is one way where you guys can check it. Now, here we have the messages tab. We have, you know, and then more importantly, we have the paper trading tab down on the bottom. Paper trading is just using simulated money to practice your entries, your exits, your risk management, and that's where you find that. We have the community tab. So like that Facebook for, you know, traders is right in here. So if you, get, you guys can add and follow certain traders, which is neat. Uh, and then you guys can write out certain posts there too. And then we have the algo it's called. Now this is like back testing your trading strategy, the new thing they added. And I think it's a pretty cool thing so you can ensure your strategy works well. They have strategies already lined up or you guys can kind of see what they're, you know, or you guys can make your own. So this is just something we, we have fun with. And you know, this is pretty much how you guys can start using Moomoo for your trading and get in and out of positions. I've used them for years. I absolutely, I absolutely love them. So I'll put a link to them down below if you guys want to sign up. Uh, you guys can do it there and we'll see you guys in the next one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Like, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next. Take care, everyone.